Welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about impact analysis meeting and this video is going to be my 43rd video on my playlist manual testing. So let's get started. So impact analysis meeting is to be done whenever developer is trying to do some modification in his code or he's trying to fix a bug or he's trying to add a feature into the application or he's trying to remove a feature that is already present in the application. For these four reasons, we will do impact analysis meeting. So we will do impact analysis meeting for these four reasons. That is whenever the developer is trying to do some modification in his code, whenever developer is trying to fix a bug, whenever developer is trying to add a new feature and whenever developer is trying to remove a feature from the application. For these four reasons, we will do impact analysis meeting. Now the question arises, who will do impact analysis meeting? So generally in, in impact analysis meeting, your developer, your tester, your product manager will be the part of this meeting. With the help of impact analysis meeting, your software testers will exactly know what all areas in the application to actually test it to make sure that there is no bug coming into the production. Now which all areas in the application is impacted is discussed in the impact analysis meeting. And while the areas are impacted or while the features of my applications are impacted, you already know the reasons, those four reasons. Either my developer is trying to do some modification or either he's trying to fix a bug or else he's trying to add a feature or else he's trying to remove a feature. This meeting is usually conducted by your developer or tester. If developer himself feels that because of his code changes, there is something that can break. So your developer will conduct this meeting. Now he is the person who will call testers and product manager to discuss that what changes he has actually done it and what is something that he want my testers to make sure they are testing it so that we don't break something into the production. Your testers can also call this meeting. Your testers can also make this impact analysis meeting happen whenever they feel that just because developer has done the changes we testers feel that there is something that can break because developer has done some modification so even we can call this meeting which is called as impact analysis meeting in which we will call developers testers and product manager and then we will ask developers that which all areas they have done the changes now let's take an example that there is a application in which there are four modules already present into the application and now developer is trying to add module number fifth when developer is trying to add module number fifth now just because he has written the code now he is the right person to tell your software testers that just because he's trying to add module number five what all areas into the application your developer want your testers to make sure that they are testing those modules just because your developer do not want to take a risk of something getting break into the production so just because developer is trying to add module number fifth into the application which already has four modules now so your developer will tell just because one two three and four modules are already present into the application and just because i'm trying to add module number five your developer himself will tell testers that just because i'm trying to add module number five please go through to test module number one and two and he himself will tell that testing module number three and four is not required because because of his changes third and four modules are not impacted at all but he feels that module number one and two may get impacted just because he is trying to add module number five how come he is very confident about that because he is the person who has written the code when he's trying to add module number five there's a possibility that he must have used some code which is already written for my module number one and two he would have consumed some code which is written for this two module in his newly feature so that he feels that now this just because he's trying to add a module number five this can impact my module number one and two and just because he's sure that his code changes are not at all related with my module number three and four so he himself will tell the test engineers that there is no required for you to go through module number fourth and fifth so this is called as impact analysis meeting as i told in the starting that your product manager is also going to be a part of this meeting your product manager is also the right person to tell to your software testers that what he feels that can get impacted just because your developer is trying to add module number fifth 
into the application which already has four modules. Now you must be knowing this if you have seen my STLC model video. I said that your product manager is the person who is the domain expert. Now let's take an example that the application which we are working is a healthcare domain. Now my product manager will be the person who is a domain expert now. Now he know every in and out of the application. He is a domain expert. Now whenever developer is trying to add any newly module into the application which is already have many modules in it now from his own experience your product manager will tell just because he's a domain expert he will let top software testers know that what all areas product manager feels that software tester should really test it so based on his experience also he will tell please test this feature and this feature just because your developer is trying to add module number fifth as I already told you that your software testers will also be a part of this meeting. So your software testers will also tell from their own experience that what all areas they really feel that can get impacted just because your developer is trying to add some new feature. If I have to conclude something, I will say that I'm doing impact analysis meeting because developer has done some changes. It may be some modification in his code. It may be he is fixing some bug. It may be he is trying to add a new feature or it may be he is trying to remove a feature. So whenever developer is trying to do these this four things, whenever developer is trying to do these four things, my software testers will try to do the impact analysis meeting in which they will get to know that what all things I need to make sure to test it before telling that I have tested the software. Now this impact analysis meeting usually, usually it happens in a company where the project is very old and has lot of modules in it. Now let's talk about healthcare domain. Now generally the healthcare domain projects will be very old. Let's suppose that those uh, applications are 10 years old, 20 years old. Now this is these all are the possibilities that in healthcare domain you will see a project which is, which is 20 years old. And now just because your developer is trying to add a new feature, and just because we know what is regression testing now, in case you don't know, please watch that video and please uh, understand this topic. And just because your application is very vast now, it is very big enough now, it is 10 to 20 years old now, and just because your developer is trying to add a new feature, it makes no sense to test the entire application. So whenever developer is trying to add a new feature, I will make sure that the newly feature is working fine. Plus I will do regression testing on the impacted areas. So instead of wasting my time to test the whole application which is 20 years old now which will take nearly one month time for me I will just make sure to test the impacted areas and I will get to know the impacted areas from my developer because he is written the code from my product manager because he is a domain expert and from your software testers as well because from their own experience they can also let us know that which all areas they feel that can get impacted just because your developer is trying to do some changes. So I hope this video was useful. If yes, you know what you have to do. Like the video, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.